A parliamentary committee has questioned the integrity of a Swiss multinational security printer which provides excise duty stamps to the Kenya Revenue Authority. The firm in question has, however, defended itself, saying it was not involved in corruption and that it has a clear contract with KRA. Dennis Otieno attended the proceedings in Parliament and filed the following report. For the first time, directors of Swiss company SICPA appeared before the National Assembly's Public Investments Committee on Commercial Affairs and Energy to shed more light on its EGMS contract with Kenya Revenue Authority. A 12 billion shilling fine slapped on the company by the Office of the Attorney General of Switzerland in May this year over failure to prevent breaches was perhaps the elephant in the room. How can you convince the public that you are credible enough to be tasked with the responsibility of managing such an essential and critical system in the economy of a country such as Kenya's? SICPA, which has supplied the accessible goods management system in the country since 2013, denounced the alleged corruption charges. Since this summary penalty order in Switzerland, SICPA has never been banned or delisted anywhere in the world. We are still participating in the tenders in Europe, in the Eurozone, in the U.S., a showdown is now looming following revelations that the Swiss firm is among firms bidding for a new contract for the provision of excisable stamps. The contract is billed in euros, of course, until September 15th when Kerry requested for Kenya shillings billing. And therefore, the local entity is set up as a cost plus because you also had the question about repatriation. So we recharge all the costs in Kenya. What will be the cost of the commissioning vis-a-vis -vis the cost of putting another, almost the same thing, almost the same. Cost of commission, decommissioning is on SIGPA side. KRA will not bear any cost. These costs are on SIGPA side. MPs have accused SIGPA of holding the taxman hostage. How do you help mitigate Kenya Revenue Authority? Because you seem to be taking money away from the Kenyans as opposed to providing um, service. As far as we are concerned and KRA, we were basically following the contracts. So handover, maintenance were basically agreed and specified as per the contract. If they are not going to renew it and you leave the equipment with them, what is it going to suffer? What purpose is that machine going to serve? To serve? But this has been defined by KRA itself in the terms of reference when procuring a highly secure solution. Denis Otieno, Citizen TV.